Oh Ho there, noble knight. Welcome to Nerdarchy. Four nerds by nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ryan. Um, Nate. T- uh, Dave, that's <laughs> Ted. That's <laughs> Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to doppelganger your name. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. I'm Ted, hair and line. I'm also Ted. Yeah, <laughs> we're, yeah. We're, we're all Ted today. We're mostly Ted. Yeah. So, right, so uh, better so off Ted. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're talking about the Paladin in, in 5A, huh? We are talking about the 5A Paladin. Yeah, so um, I don't know. Anybody play a Paladin yet? I have. Oh, right. <laughs> my game. Here. I saw yeah. a Paladin get played. Yeah, that's right. He sort of. It's sort of a Paladin. Uh, sort yeah, of. he's not very. He's not a very uh, good Paladin. I he's saw a sheet. Mm. It said Paladin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he's very good at loving himself, which he you know he excels at that. Is so his oath to hi, uh, to himself? It by should himself, it should be. I, I should make that like a thing. I should totally write in one of them. Yeah. R- rewrite the oath. Yeah, yeah, kind of. So, well, speaking of which, paladins in this edition are all about the oath. Rendered. Mm-hmm. Like when you drop a hammer on your foot and <laughs> call out a something. Yeah, yeah four yeah, letter much. word. Got oath yeah. of devotion, oath of the ancients, and. Oath of Vengeance. So here's the weird thing when reading the Paladin, like all everything that you read says basically E old Paladin of, you know, first through third edition, well probably right. fourth as well. Mm-hmm. Um you know, lawful good, blah blah blah, you know, upstanding, upright, all this stuff. But he doesn't actually have the alignment restriction. Mm-hmm. Right. But it's no, completely no. flavored like that and like, like it is, yeah. Like like so so the way that it's worded and written they almost feel, feel like make you feel like only a dick would play a paladin and not be lawful good. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, except for though, like w- it would be very fitting to be a neutral evil or lawful evil paladin of vengeance. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah, but even I'm just going by how. But they the flavor of it, it yeah. it's like an angel came. If an angel came to the lawful evil character, you'd probably just smite him. But yeah, it is very written that way. Yeah. So, well, but. I, Go ahead, Ted. Going coming off what you said with the, about you know being evil, you could you could be a lawful evil oath of vengeance, and like you're you're there to uphold the law, and and you're pretty much the the opposite end of the spectrum. You're evil because it's up to you to do what others you know won't. I'm gonna bring this guy to justice because he's not obeying the law, and it doesn't matter how I get there as long as justice is done. Yeah. And, you you, must you, also, and you might also like doing it that way. Doing right? hard. Yeah. Be like, and that's I get to <laughs> crack people's skulls because they break the law? Awesome. Well, yeah, I, I think be why you, you were like, chosen. Like a good character could do it. The evil character is more apt to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. It's really the, the thing. So, you know, that being said, the, it's nice they got rid of the requirements. Like, it used to be so freaking hard to be a paladin. Uh, second edition paladin, 17 oh charisma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How is that even possible? And, like, and 17 charisma, like 13 wisdom, and like uh, something strong. Like, there was like I think it three was, or four stat requirements. It was just as bad as, as Ranger. They yeah, Ranger ridiculous. was pretty hard, too. Yeah, but so the nice thing about 5th edition, um, you don't have, there's no requirements to be anything. Right. You just be what you want to be and you can just suck at it. Yeah. Matter of fact, um, you're very good at creating characters that suck at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, um, Andrew Knapp, uh, RS2 Joker. SR2 Joker. R- SR2. R- R- yeah. Yeah. RS2 Joker. SR2 Joker. SR2 Joker. <laughs> SR2 Joker. <laughs> SR2 Joker. <laughs> Mixed Lexic. Yeah. Mixed Lexic. <laughs> well, anyway, he did. A, he played in a one shot game where he rolled the stats straight down. And, like, all of his good stats were in the mental stuff, right? And he ended up with an 18... I think he ended up with 18 charisma. So he built Sir Rochester, right? <laughs> Who was a paladin that was cloistered away with these priests and monks his whole life serving them and working off a of debt. And he always wanted to be an adventurer and a priest, yeah. but he was always found unworthy. So he starts the character's career with him being, like, 70. <laughs> because his physical stats were like eight strength, eight con. Yeah. And, you know, they were like ridiculous. Yeah. But he had the mental things. He's like pattern. Like you couldn't have done that in a previous edition. Right. And you can now. And that's what's really cool about fifth, that you can make that paladin that basically sucks if you want to. But you yeah. know, but you want to be, you want a paladin. You know, it builds character in your character. It's yeah. characterful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now let's right, let's so actually delve into the paladin a little bit. So, so uh, the stuff that they get, it seems, uh, it's at least the, the core class part, it, it's just it's very fitting to the actual paladin. There's nothing that's surprising. There's nothing that's like, oh, man, this is, you know, phenomenal. Um, you know, for me, I, I really like the, uh, the, the, the extra divine smite or super divine smite at 11th level. 
Oh well, yeah, just, where you just get it. You, you're just always, you know, dealing with <laughs> radiant damage. Smite on, yeah. <laughs> but when isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Which so. you know, you know, talking about smite. Yo, know, it's nice now. You have as many smites as you have spells, right. essentially. Because you sack yes. them all out for the extra and, damage. And the more powerful spells you have, the more powerful your smite is. And, and I don't know whether you actually looked at the uh, the I actual did. mechanics of it, but in previous editions, when you were going to smite, you would say, I'm going to smite. And you would expend your use, you'd make your attack roll. You this miss. is when you hit, yeah. Yeah. you can choose to smite. Yeah, which yeah. is nice. So that, no I, waste of smites. I, I, you I, get to look up and wait. He gets another shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. And, and what's nice, right? Say you're a paladin fighting with a greatsword, right? So that's a two die six weapon. Well, you're now high enough for fifth level spells, and it happens to be undead or a fiend. Yep. You can now do seventy eight plus your weapon damage with that one shot. Right, and then obviously you got to take the great weapon uh, thing. Um, weapon fighting, style, fighting style. Fighting style. Fighting style. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. You know, that being said, um, it's kind of cool with the smite that you automatically do the extra damage to undead right. and uh, yeah. fiends. It, it's, all, it's only an extra D8, but it's an auto. You so. Know, so, you know, hey, uh, first level spell is now two die as opposed to right. one. Yeah, yeah. Unless well, you're 11th level. Then and, it's three and when you, and yeah, well, it's three D8 against the fiend. So, you know, pretty much for the smite, that's how it works. And it's, you know, I like smite in this edition. But, you know, what about the other class features? You know, the, let's go back to the beginning and start with just the basics. You know, the, the, their warrior class die 10. They get to wear armor. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> they get they do get to wear armors. All the armors. All, all the armors. All, all armors at once. And yeah. shields. Belongs to us. You know, martial weapon proficiency, simple weapon proficiency, of course, you would expect those. Uh, here's the interesting thing. As a martial class, they get charisma and wisdom as their proficiencies. Yeah, for their saving throws. Which is a nice array because you're probably going to have a pretty bumpy strength and, and con, con. Right. And then you get the proficiency. So it insulates you against your your weaknesses. And then we'll touch on that later yeah. when we have the... Uh, aura of protection. Yeah, yeah, the aura of protection. It's so. pretty freaking sweet. And so, skills, yeah. they get a good variety of skills, too. They've got athletics from the strength. Uh, yeah, section. it's a mix of the basically the fighter and cleric skills, I would say. Yeah. 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 So they get some... You know they get some they get some charisma based stuff and you know the strength based stuff and the the cleric based stuff, so they're well rounded. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now you know as far as you know okay so if you go with like uh, play styles or whatever you got you know the tankier classes which are usually your fighters. You know the paladin has you know they're going to have the armor and they they they're going to have the hit points. Hmm. But what they don't have is they don't. They don't really. They have staying power, but they're not like, they're not combat monkeys. They can't just right. get up there and they're not going to do a ton of damage. They're more or less going to be in. They're a wall. They're slow and steady, kind of. You know, they're just going to like chip away at people when they're fighting them. They're not. Yeah, they're not going to do out gobs of damage unless they're smiting. Yeah, unless unless they're smiting, and you know, they do have more options for that than they did previous. Right with the spells, yeah. Which that probably. I don't have uh, expansive knowledge of 4th edition, but I imagine 4th edition paladins probably had all kinds of like, oh, I'm smiting and doing this or that. Well, or that. you know what they probably had? They were probably like a secondary leadership role. Mm -hmm. So, which is yeah, kind were, of like they were, your... They were definitely a leader class. Yeah, so it was like your, you know, your healing stuff pretty much and, and your right. bumps and your buffs. Right, I smack this guy and everybody gets like 10, de 10 hit points or something. Everybody yeah. feels good. Yeah. yeah, it's great. So... Divine Health, again, is, you know, is something that's a throwback to previous editions. Immunity to disease. Yep. Yep. Which um, is kind of funny for your character. My paladin, <laughs> when he, uh, you know, when he was with women of ill repute, he definitely uses that, that you know, mm -hmm. was behind the shield wall of his Divine Health. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. That's right. So, and then, you know, they get, they get the extra attacks like all the other classes. This is actually where they fall a little short. Um... Compared to the other warrior classes, extra attack. Mm. You know, the barbarian has a way to attack four times around. The fighter just attacks four times around. You know, possibly five or six, yeah. <coughs> depending on what's going on. And that's before you even like action surge. Right. Um, then you have you know the ranger, which also has additional ways to get more attacks. Mm -hmm. Not so much with the paladin. He's stuck at two attacks around, and you know. His utility is the fact that he kind of is 
almost the secondary cleric. Well, and the fact that he's like a walking battle standard of like, oh, I'm going to give the R of protection within 10 feet of them that bumps up to, um, I think all of them at 18th level go to a 30 foot radius. Yeah. So it's like you get all these awesome effects just by standing near me. Like, <laughs> um, 10 foot, not so awesome because area of effect spells, but once it gets to 30, you can spread that out a little bit <laughs> and not have the entire party get fireballs. Well, yeah, um, and 10 feet, man. You guys are really standing yeah, close yeah. together. But it's awesome. Awesome Uncomfortably it's, close it, together. It's like, uh, am I going to need a restraining <laughs> order right. against Gr you? Group hug, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the 10 foot is a little ridiculous, but. I mean, if you're shield walling against, you know. You have the caster have, be behind you with low hit points or whatever. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah, they're. Well, it's within 10 feet, so the, it is a radius. Yeah. So that's not too bad, but. Actually, you could t totally pull off an awesome like combo with with the like halfling rogue of the party because they can like go through your space. Right. They could constantly like go you know like cheap shot somebody because they can use they can essentially use their bonus action to always hide behind you, right. and then run up, sneak to the guy, then get behind the paladin again. Um, because this way, you're um, yeah, they're gonna always be in your charisma radius, and you're interposing yourself. But on the you know on the plus side for the bad guys, you know you always know where to fi how to fireball the rogue. That's Where's right. the paladin at? Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's the way to go. So that that you know the aura protection basically gives everyone a bonus to their saving throws equal to your charisma modifier and yourself, which is awesome. Like with Ace Zenith, I dumped. Uh, his, Everything. Yeah, I pretty much um, I, I dumped his uh, his dex. intelligence, wisdom, and dex. But because I pumped my charisma as high as possible, you could totally cheese it out. I mean, for the char this character, it worked um, because he, he it was meant to be an idiot. Right. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like, yeah, having a super high charisma insulates you against that. So, 18, so right? you just, yeah, he's got an 18. If you bum rush having a 20 to get a plus 5 to all of your saving throws, it's like you're not, you know, you have a net of a plus 4, even if you're taking a negative 1 to, like, a bunch of stats. So it's pretty awesome. That's true. So, yeah, I, I have to agree. The, the, that's always been one of the cool features of the Paladin was basically I'm, I'm awesome at making saving throws. I'm awesome at being awesome is really the way Ace would see it. <laughs> pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and then again, they, you know, they had the ability to, uh, <coughs> the immunity to being frightened, and they give it to their allies as well. Although, you know... I remember in past editions that used to be like something you got like first or second level. Yeah, it used you to know, be now it's like you have to be tenth to be fearless against whatever. Yeah. But yeah. did they have the uh, the aura? Was it an aura before? Um, in that part I'm not third positive. edition, it might have gotten. Uh, they might have had some aura stuff going on. I think they probably realized I think, that. I think in third edition, it was a, it was an aura, and like it started off as. Just a bonus to, to save versus fear, and later it might have uh, turned into immunity. Turned, turned into immunity so many additions. Yeah, <laughs> the additions. So, you know, then you have <laughs> Divine Sense and Lay on Hands. The Lay on Hands, I think, is is interesting. You know, having that. The, the, the diversity that, of it. That, to be yeah, yeah the, the level the level pool, you know, level times five, and points that you can, you can use. And you can either just, you know, deal out or heal out, you know, hit points one at a time. But it's the it's the quickest that any any anyone gets the ability to remove diseases or poisons. It is. They they can essentially do it at first level if they've got all their points. Boom! I spend all five poisons negated. Yay! Done. So I th I thought that was really sweet. Um, the hell. Yeah, I mean it, it's the you know for the fact that like they're not the strongest fighter, but they have all these like utility abilities. And you're talking their, about their spell list a little bit. Um, well, you know it's talking about the spell list right which is one of my pet peeves of fifth edition is the way that they list the spells oh, yeah. you have to go to the list find a spell and go, okay i can cast that or not right well the <laughs> funny thing about paladin spells is it's one of the few cl uh, classes with spells that you don't have to do that with you can read the spell oh, this is a paladin spell yeah <laughs> like just the yeah, way like, just the way their true. name of it yeah <laughs> unless it's a, a, a paladin spell that they get the, the uh, alternative like the oath based ones yeah, th that or the cler or cleric spells of paladins get as well. Then right. you might have to like double check. But if it's strictly just a paladin spell, you just read the name and you just know it's a paladin <laughs> spell. Uh, one of the radiant really massive erection vengeance. <laughs> yeah. Yes. One of the really cool ones is um, healing prayer, mm. and only paladins get it. It takes ten minutes to cast it, 
but it's like up to six people you can cure with this spell at once. Oh, wow. It's definitely for in between combat. You're not doing pulling it off door <laughs> combat. No, no, no. Ace <laughs> is just going to be out there. Like, Don't worry, I'm praying. <laughs> hundred rounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is very but, important. Yeah, but you know, it, it's you know something they get. And no one else gets, and it's kind of cool. And they now tell us about it. You build it up so much, and then you'll just not mention what it actually does. It heals. It, heals. Yeah, it just totally heals? No, it's like X amount of like two, two die eight or three die eight up to six people. Uh, that's nice. a, well, it, what level we, is that? It's 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 not that high. It's like second or third. That's pretty sweet. You know, it's, it, one to th- I'm going to say go with the one to three range. Hmm. Uh, you know, heroism, that's another one they get. There's a couple spells that they get where it's like, okay, pick three people. And it affects them. Yeah. You know, eight is another one that's also a cleric spell, but that lasts eight hours, and it's just okay. You all have you all have a bonus five hit points mm-hmm. for three people. Not bad. Not bad um, I think heroism that does the same thing as aid, but you get those every round. It's your charisma modifier every round. It's pretty nice. And there's like something else it does as well, but yeah, you know, that that's what I remember. So I really like the. The non-caster spells in this edition. Indeed, yeah. The, you, the, you know, really the ranger is the same way. Right. And the thing that I really love about the Oath of the Ancients is they get the cool ranger spells. Yes. They get Ensnaring Strike. They get Hunter's Mark. Yep. Um, there's, there's a, there, Compel Duel is a paladin spell that goes, if you don't attack me, you get disadvantage to attack anyone else. Right. Well... You know, what, it, what about the barbarian ability that does <laughs> like the, same the same thing, thing pretty yeah. much? And and then there's the fighter thing. There's a there's one of the fighter things where you can do something along those lines. Oh, the the protection one with the shield. Right. So right, you, you have a barbarian and That's a paladin kind of standing on either side of the fighter, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you have a disadvantage to attack them all. Yeah. yeah. Which <laughs> is, and and all of them are worded in a way pretty much that it negates it if the same. If someone else is trying to use the same ability, but since there are three different abilities, <laughs> you, 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 you it always doesn't say the same style ability. It just says yeah, it's like three card Monty, but there's <laughs> but there is no real card there. Yeah. Uh, so one thing before we get too into the oaths, like uh, as a baseline thing, just a sweet feat to consider, inspiring leader, especially at high levels, because it gives you your level plus your charisma modifier to in temporary hit points. Like so, basically, you can give that to the party. Uh, you know, and they're like, I think it's you need to spend like ten minutes giving a, your characters giving a speech. For a rousing minutes. speech. A rous- uh, an arousing speech. Not an arousing uh, speech. Yeah. Arousing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you just can't so, help yourself. Yeah, really. Yeah. So you you get that at high level, and then like after every short rest, you give that to your your party those temporary hit points. So when you go into an encounter, you're kind of ready to go. Yeah, that combined with the other paladin spells is pretty sweet. Yeah, it keeps everybody. What do you guys think of the divine sense? It's tingling. It's it's a it's definitely a way of mitigating the. I, I can just do it forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, it doesn't it doesn't have the same. In my opinion, it doesn't have the same feel as it does from from previous editions, where it was oh I can detect good or I can detect evil. <laughs> well, they made it less. You know, you know, like, yeah, they made it less oriented b- to being like. I kind of feel like they poured the weak sauce all over this one. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, if you use it and there is a uh, a demon standing right next to you, invisible, you cannot detect him. Is yeah. invisible considered cover? It says uh, total cover. It says total cover. Yeah, uh, invisibility. I don't know. Uh, I, I, or I guess maybe that's concealment. I would think that, that would be, be concealment. concealment not so cover. then it can't go. Uh, then it just can't go through walls. So if they're standing on the other side of the so, door. So you know, yeah. <laughs> if uh, I love the fact crouch, that it's if they're crouching behind the computer over there, then nope, sorry, you have no idea there's an imp there. I just, I just Why are there computers in your D and D world. That's true. Are you playing some sort of? We're like, going to modern fantasy. Yeah. Uh, yeah there you gotcha. go. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of messed up. I mean. It should so, just be sixty four, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so it's only sheet, sixty feet. I mean, really. So a paper on. screen will totally conceal yep. the fact that there's a demon behind yeah, the wall. Yeah, like, you could literally see the outline that it's yeah. actually a demon. But you're proud of me, like, ah. I said no evil. That <laughs> must be a statue. Yeah, <laughs> it's a gargoyle yeah. or something. Yeah. It's a, it's but a it's stone. moving. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's saying I want your soul. Oh, it's animatronic. <laughs> <laughs> so Play so divine though. sense. I I mean I might even say for like us for house rule and that be like just get rid of the, 
the, the, the cover. cover part. You know, if it's in 60 feet of you, you can find it. I mean, the ranger gets, like, miles. Yeah, yeah if it's yeah. his favorite terrain, six miles, you can find them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, yeah, so it's a little, like, come on. Come on, guy. Yeah, they really nerfed that. That's kind they of put silly. a nerf on that. Oh, it is, and the, yeah, the limited number of times you can do it. Like, come on, what are you going to do that five, six times a day? Like, uh, you know, I even most of the time forget to do it anyway. So, but you know, I, 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 I like it to the to the fact that it's not just the oh, you know, the the paladin walk, you know, gets gets together with the group for the first time and looks at everybody. You're evil. <laughs> I'm just going to kill you. Yeah, well, it, I mean, it, but they also made it, like, in the actual crunch part of it, they made it a little less biased towards being, like, lawful good. Even though all the fluff in the text right, says but I mean, you're like, lawful good. I've, you're you good, know, I, I've heard, heard, you know, tales of, of, like, campaigns starting that somebody plays an evil rogue and somebody plays a paladin, and before the campaign, you know, kicks off... They're already fighting to the death. They're, they're already fighting because the paladin detected evil on the party right away. Yeah, it's not the paladin that's and the a -hole. bad cop. It's well, the player. <laughs> the player's an a-hole. It's yeah. really well, what it is. Because in civilized society, you have people you don't like, but you don't outright just kill them. If you're lawful good, you're especially not going to do that. <laughs> Just because they're evil does not give you the right to kill them. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not saying what he did was right. I'm, and I'm also not saying he's an a hole. I'm no, no, saying I'm like saying that player is an a hole. <laughs> that player, I will not play with that. Player. Okay, so let's say, ignoring that bad play, because if you're a lawful good, you have to follow the laws. Right. If a guy doesn't break a law in front of you, or he's not a wanted criminal, because the magistrate says this guy is to be arrested, or uh, apprehended or slain at all costs, well, then you have no right to do any of that stuff to that guy. Well, true, but I would say I would my argument would be the paladin follows a higher law in his own mind, which is that of a, a deity or a god. Well, then again, man's you know, smoting all the people that, that uh, I do not agree man, with. Man's laws do it's not just, apply to. For a long time, I just Peronius. felt that it was kind of like very caricature of what uh, upright paladin would do. It's kind of like. Yeah, well, Sir Lancelot, he would not have just slain the guy because he was evil. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that. You know, so th this let's bar that concept for whether or not we judge this is not a powerful enough ability. I say it's not enough powerful ability. It's uh, it's kind of lame. I'm just, a paper screen can block it. You only get it maybe two or three times, four times. I mean, we're not. I'm not assuming everybody maxes out their primary stat. Because people don't. You should max out charisma. Just saying, you should have. I'm kind of kidding. But oh, charisma is such should, a powerful stat. Yeah, it I does so much stuff for you. Have a yes. Sixteen charisma. Yeah. Yet. So let's say he has three. So he does it four times a day. Uh. Sometimes that's not going to be enough. You're in a crowded urban city and you're trying to find some kind of lawbreaker or somebody you're you're hunting. Well, you for. don't detect evil. Well, anymore. yeah. Now you're 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 just detecting like sort of weird stuff. So, uh, celestial fiend and undead. Yeah. yeah. They, they they get your 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 holy senses tingling, yeah. So yeah, yeah. so I think it's fine as is. It just you just need to remove the full color cover part. Yeah, and my my whole point was it remove you know by, based on this wording and this and that it has removed that possible issue from yeah, from, yeah. From which away. is it's it's good to um, to keep the a holes of the world at bay. Well, uh, now it's, I, like I was going along with Ted the the detect evil. It's not yeah, really it's not, detect it's evil not detecting anymore. evil. No, it's no. not detecting good. It's detecting it's divine you know, sense. Yeah, yeah. It says it right in the title. Uh, divine yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah, but it says the presence of strong evil registers on your senses. Yeah. What I, uh, so a person, a, an actual regular like player character race can't be strong enough evil to detect. But, but no, is what but it also is powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears so it's it's something that you are of the planes of good or evil is the yeah it's part of your essence and yeah. that's what you a, detect. a dm might might give you you know like if they want to reinterpret it you know a dm could say like okay you know you have you, know, you have this sense but it's not it's not pinpoint unless it's fiendish or undead or celestial well, or you, maybe some kind of like strong necromancy. Well, they can also uh, desecrate and uh, consecrate, consecrate, consecrate and desecrated areas. They can well. sense those. Yeah, you know, I mean, okay. another thing it kind of um, it gets around to is like the, the 
it was something when I was driving home with uh, with Anthony. He was complaining about the fact that like you'd have players that would just constantly be detecting evil, and it's just like really the, the expense because you could do it at will. Yeah, but, so like, why not? but yeah, like, it's, it's always on. It right? takes you like no effort at all. There's yeah. you should at least like be forced to like be clutching your holy symbol or doing this, like something that's obvious that you're doing uh, a thing. yeah, a little prayer or something. Yeah, yeah. You, it should be like you're obviously doing a thing. And people are just going to look at you like weird. Like there's going to you know be a what would happen cost. in some of the games I played and with some of the games I played. At some point, you're going to do that and you're going to go freaking blind because you're going to look at something so massively evil, so massively evil yeah. that it's going to like you know knock you out of your armor. Yeah. No, I mean like it could be cool from a role playing aspect if like there was a character that was like people thought he was mentally touched because he's constantly like muttering a prayer like that would be cool from a role playing aspect but the douchebag that's just going to go oh no I'm just always doing this like that again that player's an a-hole like yeah. you know not the character the player well and that's why that's when you need to just drop that one guy he walks by that friggin just is so evil blinds him and yeah. knocks him on his ass yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like it's like he just drank a vat of moonshine right, right. and, and so he's much. like get him get him and the rest of the party's like what it's a little old lady yeah right? <laughs> or a little girl yeah, yeah. Children are not to be trusted. Yeah, it's really <laughs> oh, so I guess we should get to the oaths. All right, so, so uh, oath of devotion—that's that's your basic cookie cutter paladin. That's Sir Lancelot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what you're playing with uh, here. It's it's a lo really lo love yourself guy. Yeah, it's a really strong um, uh, sort of um, path or whatever. This I don't is. know when I when I read the oaths, right? The actual tenets of 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 the different ones. I almost felt like they read the same. Uh, they're pretty. They're pretty similar esque. The, the, I think the avenging one, the oath of vengeance, is the most, most distinct. Different. Yeah, from it. They, they have. They have. They have differences. The way. The way I looked at him, um, you know, the oath of devotion was your your you know your your lawful and justice paladin. What you're, they call the wall, white knight. Like, yeah, you're, yeah, you're looking. You're looking to you know do good in the world and blah 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 blah. Oath of the Ancients, I looked as more like a protector of, of nature and, and it felt very screamed uh, Elven Paladin. Elven, Elven, Elven you know, Paladin. said, "This yeah. is for the Elves." Yeah, yeah. Far so Snow Paladin. Yeah, that's right. We're that. Actually, Half Orc would be pretty sweet too. You know, and then you know, your Oath of the Vengeance, you know, was the, was the one who was specifically down to just lawful. You know, you're you're there to bring people in who have specifically done wrong. You know, you could say that there's some of that in. You know, in the oath of devotion, but it's not as focused. Well, the difference between the devotion and vengeance is like your um, vengeance. One is justice, and one is punishment. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Well, I mean, let's like the vengeance ones puts the premium on vengeance. It's just like, no, I want to get this guy. I might screw some things up in my process of trying to get this guy, but That's I just okay. want to get this guy. Yeah, whereas the, the other, the um, the devotion is just like, I'm going to try to get this guy, but not at the cost of like everyone around me. Right. Vengeance is like, fuck everybody. I'm going to fucking get this guy. <laughs> so, he is going down. He is so going down. So, you know, the... Basically, all the oaths, they give you extra spells that you just know, which right. is kind of cool. So, so Similar to the, the cleric domain. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar to that. So paladins always have just a lot of spells they can draw from. Not so many castings, but they have them. They definitely have more spell slots. Uh, I mean, spell more options. spell options than the slots at, uh, in the beginning. Um, and then they get, that's where their channel divinity comes from, which right. would have been turn, rebuke, undead right. in previous editions. Mm -hmm. So the... Uh you know the, the the basic devotion. You know, you're you're a basic paladin. You're turning undead, um, or the sacred or, weapon. Yeah, know. or I make a sacred weapon that is really good at hitting. So people. I feel like as far as just like the sort of the trade off of uh, of abilities, I feel like the sacred weapon is one of the stronger ones because the other ones are very specific to like one guy, one foe. Um, whereas, like the sacred weapon, it's just for the duration. My weapon gets a bump to hit. Right. Yeah. Well, not not uh, the turn on holy one. That's th this is a radius. That's very well, much like the no, yeah. I, but I mean, I'm talking about like the sort of the attack options version. Uh, you know, like the attack channel. Options. Oh yeah, yeah. They, it, they it's have the, the strongest. most utilitarian. I, I feel like they just have the strongest channel divinity with sacred weapon and turn on holy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> sacred weapon <laughs> having a plus three. To attack is really nice <laughs> in this, yeah. where, especially in the, where in addition where the numbers are much lower than normal. Yeah, a plus three is really high. That ancient dragon with only a twenty-two AC. Yeah. 
you know, and then again, the the, the oath of devotion continues with uh, I'm just going to have really cool auras and stand near me. It'll feel good. It's going to be awesome. Uh, you know, with our seven level ability. Just, shh, shh, just go along with it. Just go. Along. Yeah. <laughs> you just awkwardly <laughs> caress your party members' forehead. I mean, it's on, a, at seventh level. The, you know, they get that radius again, and no, no one can be charmed. Right. Yeah. Which is you know, which is kind of cool. Fifteenth level. Uh, you're always under the effects of protection of evil and good spells. So, well, you know, I think they used to get that very early, like third level <laughs> in previous editions. Yeah. Yeah, that might have been a second edition. A lot of the stuff... Second edition, you got it extremely early. Yeah. A lot of the stuff that was super front-loaded um, is now, it's like, you're dispersed. getting a 15th plus. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It just adds a little bit extra. Well, I feel like it's to, like, um, kind of reinforce the idea of being a single class yes. and not dipping a toe here, dipping a toe there. Well, we so. get all your benefits at first level. I mean, also with the multi-classing, with you're not gaining the full benefits of armor and right. weapon allotment is a, is a big deal. There yeah. now the the 20th level abilities for the paladins are pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. They're 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 all very thematic and cool. Yeah, yeah. you know, ho holy nimbus. It just hurt. I, I'm I'm so holy it hurts to stand near me. <laughs> Can't touch this. <laughs> you know, and you know I double as a torch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a really not. bright one. Yeah. Is this burning the eternal flame? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah. Uh, you know, so and or it might be chlamydia. They're very good. <laughs> <laughs> Not for that palin. Not for the palin. <laughs> yeah, just for everyone else. Yeah, around. right. Yeah, exactly. And you know, hey, they're good. You know, they get advantage against undead and and fiends. In that, yeah, radius. Mm -hmm. That's pretty That's, awesome. Yeah, for saving throws against uh, spells. Dude, cast you're by them. you're uh, twentieth level. You're so, so liches, messing up. Liches and arc fiends. Yeah, liches get stitches. <laughs> That's yeah, right. That's right. Because you're going to take their spell right on the face and not care, and you're going to hit them with a super smite. In the face. So, you know, the... Okay. the, the, the um, blah, 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 blah. Oath of Devotion. Oath of oh. Devotions. Very good, very thematic, very stereotypical of the yeah. ages paladin. If you j yeah, if you just wanted to play a stereotypical paladin, just stop at that one. And right. Just, you know, right. Now we're going to make a sharp right turn. <laughs> 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 but, you know, because Oath, Oath of the, of the Ancients is really, like... Okay, I'm I'm the tree hugging version of the oath of uh, devotion. Yeah. <laughs> I read. It, I'm, I'm waiting for the line of okay, you can't wear metal armor. And I, and I didn't yeah, see it doesn't it. yeah, I was, it was kind of like, are you gonna be really druidy? Yeah. So, well, like, you know, it, it, it's like the um that one cleric one that gets like heavy armor. Only yeah. you're actually a paladin. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. A cleric, cleric yeah. of life. No, no. There's a the, the, na nature, the nature one. Nature gets, one gets, gets heavy it. armor. I yeah. was just like, what the hell? Anyway, we'll, we'll get back. But it, you know, it says that like you're gonna have like. Mo nature motifs on your armor right, and stuff right. like that yeah least. with your oath choices they really don't i mean aside you've got your oaths and that's that's your restriction and they didn't put a you don't like metal stuff yeah. in there yeah. which was good no you could choose yeah, i was, I was happy about it. i'm like I'm, I'm reading it i'm really liking the oath of the ancients i, I think what they get is really cool their spells uh, or th their spell choices are the, very thematic right yeah. and, and their their very channel plenty. divinity being able to like you know use ensnaring vines I think that's really cool. I mean, that, that kind of feature is, you know, usually just a, well, a spell effect. Now except it's, for it's not that strong because it only targets one creature. Like that's the thing about um, uh, ancients and vengeance is both of them only target one creature, and if it misses, you just yeah, burn they're, they're one of your few uses. Kind of weak. Yeah, you, you just burn well, one of your few uses of uh, of being able to do that. And it costed it costed you an action to do it too. So, because um, like you may as well just walk up and hit them, <laughs> like and then staring strike them, instead of like burning the right. channel. But now, if the range was further and like, oh, I want to stop that guy. Right. It would be more useful, say sixty, one hundred and twenty feet or whatever. But the fact that they have to be within ten feet of you. You could have just moved and hit them. <laughs> Although I think they make up for it with their aura of warding and their undying sentinel. Yeah, um, and, and really, you you said half work, so the undying yeah. sentinels like very yeah, yeah. very cool goes well, right with that. Well, th I mean that was the thing I was thinking is the fact that like you get two chances to just stay up. Yeah, just go no. <laughs> so and you know, or a warning is hey, I just have resistance to spells. Yeah. So any spell cast of me, I just take half damage. Well, and it's the aura again, so all of your... Your, your party can't... Yeah, yeah, if you care wow. about that. Yeah, yeah, at 18th it gets put on your aura. Well, or the aura but, range increases to 30. Yeah. Yeah, like Okay, all so them. they already got the 10-foot 
yeah. range. You are, wow. and that's that one's not as bad as everybody hugging you closely and awkwardly because everybody's getting advantage. Or, what is it? Advantage resistance. of the saving throw it's or the resistance. resistance? No, it's just straight up resistance. They're just gonna just take half. Yeah. Yeah, so it and then you save and so then down to a quarter. Yeah, so that's awesome. Then you're awesome. It's just thematic, but the cool thing about Undying Sentinels as well is you you don't suffer drawbacks of old age. So you yeah, can be I'm like actually the really liking the half orc idea. Oh, yeah. for well, yeah, they don't they don't cool. live that long, yeah. do they? How, how long do they have? Them? You're gonna you know you're gonna have your charisma yeah. as one of your high stats. You're gonna have a high strength and con because you're those are your bonuses. Yeah, and then who cares about dex really? Yeah, put all the heavy armor. Yeah, but it just means like. Like, you know, three of your stats are just, or three of your saves are just going to be really Pretty good. awesome, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then, like, the whole, I, I don't go down. And then at 20th level, I turn into Swamp Thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> level ability, the elder champion is pretty cool. So you look at it as swamp thing. Well, you can skin it as, it as like, absolutely you know, anything you want. I, yeah. I thought of like the Earl King, but personally, yeah. but, uh, so I was thinking more along the lines of Treebeard. Yeah, I, uh, I was being flippant, but yeah, I, I was also <laughs> thinking like a Treebeard type of character too. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, you get to look cool. You get fast healing ten, basically. Which is really cool. Any paladin spell you can cast that takes one action as a bonus it's yeah. t- can be used as a bonus. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one's kind of meh because there's there's a lot of them are as bonuses anyway. Yeah. Most of them. Like, oh yeah, that's right. Like all like, the attacky ones are bonus actions. So. Right, but now if it's like okay, well, I attack you twice and you know spell. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could do that before too. Well, but you're twenty five. But now that could be I attack you twice and flame strike your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, that's kind of good. And enemy creatures within 10 feet of you have disadvantage on saving throws against paladin spells and challenging. So, and not so not only are you casting them faster, you're casting them better. Yeah, you're casting them with, oh, you're so boom. Oh, oh, oh and, and now your channel divinity may even work. Yeah. Because yeah. you have disadvantage. <laughs> even though so many, although so many of your options are going to be so you know, much better. If so you're in that form right yeah. now, now you're using your channel divinity. Oh, no, no, no. You must root them in place with the spectral vines so they can back them. And see and how awesome all, you and your, 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 your swamp thingyness. Yeah, yeah, as you stomp, tree bird stomp them. Right. So and then, vengeance. It just vengeance. has it. Just has a cool name. Let's just stop it reading Oath of Vengeance. And yeah, you know, I kind of felt like this one was going to be the coolest one of them all. <laughs> but it was like it's not. It, it was my least favorite of the three. You can go around telling people. I swore an oath of vengeance. So what does that mean? Oh, let's not speak of it. <laughs> let's not speak oh, of you don't want to know what it means. You know, it just, you, then you just give them crazy eyes because well, then I, you I think, I think this abilities. is this is the one as we said earlier that it's very very easy for you to make the the character who's lawful evil and be a paladin. Um, what they get isn't bad. It's just not as good as the other two. I'd ra- much rather be an oathbreaker. The oathbreaker <laughs> looks pretty sweet. Um, Although well, their, a, their vow of anonymity is pretty decent. The only, the only bad thing about it is once that person dies, it's done. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the, it's the thing, like, all yeah, of it's so Yeah, but you get so advantage key. on your attack rolls. But, so, I mean, for it's the, good. For, like, a minute or something, Yeah, for right? the for combat, essentially. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. good. Until that dude drops. It's yeah, like it's good against the big bad guy. The, it's the over the Vengeance Paladin. The only thing they're good for is, like, the big bads. Like, that's, you know, then they kind of don't really and make and, and with the Relentless Avenger, making sure he doesn't get away. Yeah, well... On those rare opportunities when this thing actually comes into play, yes. <laughs> it's true. So. Well, In I, my mind, I have a vision, right? You're fighting the bad guy, and, and, and he wants to get away, so he, he runs, which draws an attack of opportunity. You smack him, and then you chase him. And then the next round, he tries to do it again. You smack him, and, <laughs> and you, you chase him. him. <laughs> and the dance, I like, I need to get this guy away. That's like he's like my arch get villain. Him away. He's, he's like my arch my villain. guy that needs to live. He's gonna he's going to ruin my plot. All I right, got this so whole you, thing. So for you DMs out there, when you're dealing with this situation, he's the second in command. He's he's the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just make another keep, villain. Keep that in Teleportation your ring. <laughs> Misty step. He's got a brother, a twin brother. <laughs> yeah. So there, there are loads of options. Like, don't, yeah, don't like this, 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 this Steven Seagal movie where there's like three of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that was that Mark for Justice? I don't even. Or out for Alpha Alpha Justice. Justice. Or Alpha Alpha Justice. Justice. Alpha right. Revet, so was he with Avengers Paladin? <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> but um, but unfortunately, they used they stole a page out of Ryan's book with the triplets. Right, right. Tri- triplets of Vengeance. That's right. And uh, so, Soul of Vengeance. That sounds really cool. Is it really cool? <laughs> is it really cool? That is the question. 
Okay, so that's just uh, what is so when you're creature. It's just basically using an extra attack against someone you use your oath on if they attack someone else. Okay. Um, eh, for fifth, fifteenth level, it's kind of meh. Well, so it does get your number of attacks up comparatively to some of the other martial characters. Well, it's makes but an it's attack. But it's super situational. Not, yeah, well, it's makes an attack, not makes an attack against somebody else. Oh, okay. So well, when they hit you, you, hit them back. you can hit them back. So yeah. they're like when they try and hit so you. So if they use their channel divinity feat feature, then they're like the barbarian. Yeah, yeah, they get a little bit of that barb thing going on. Mm. They start raging, yeah. frothing <laughs> at the mouth. Yeah. Well, maybe not so much. I, uh, yeah, and so and then we've got that whole avenging angel thing where you can fly and you know you get wings and you drink some Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. So what else is going on there? And there's your aura. Uh, eh, basically, it's just a fear thing. It's a fear things. You got you got wings. Well, and the problem is, this stuff only lasts till it takes damage. So yeah. And then, you know, like, wouldn't you be more afraid? Like, uh, shit, that guy's cutting me. What? <laughs> like, no, no, I'm done being afraid because he just stabbed me. Mother um, effer just hit me in the back. I don't even know what he thinks yeah. he's doing. Yeah, that's right. He goes, Sammy Hall Jackson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that's the pattern I mean, in the nutshell. Uh, that's, that's my biggest problem, though, with the Oath of Vengeance stuff is, like, most of it. Uh, well, or there's quite a few things that is until the enemy takes damage, and it's just like so. I have this ability that's super situational. <laughs> I'm scary until I hit them, <laughs> and, and and it's even Cause, less because they realize, oh, he doesn't hit that hard. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm still alive. It, oh wait a minute, he put his he he dumped his strength for for charisma. <laughs> no, I mean, but the thing is too, like I think it's any time anybody ta- it says like until they take damage. So if yeah. anybody hits them, a lot of your stuff is over, which sucks. So like the oath of vengeance thing, it's just it's cool. It, it, you know, it's the sorcerer problem of being thematically cool, but not that effective. Yeah. Well, they get good spells. Yeah. They get Hunter's Mark, which uh, is, in my opinion, really one good. of the best spells yeah. in the book. Yeah. Well, that's handy. Yeah, Anthony uses that quite a lot. Haste, also really good. So, yeah. with that, I mean, that's pretty much covers the Paladin. Fifth edition Paladins, I like them. I've never been a big player of the Paladin character. I don't, I don't know if I've ever made, made a Paladin. In previous editions, it was so hard. Yeah, I, was, yeah, yeah. I played one paladin in the second edition, and it was nice, but it I'll was also to, very. I have to add difficult. a uh, add a oath of the ancients paladin into my uh, queue queue of, of dudes to make because that, that's that's the one I like the most. I think he's awesome. I I briefly got the glance of the oathbreaker, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> I want to have an oath just so I can break it so that I become an oathbreaker. Well, like yeah, that. I mean, one of their cool abilities, is a fifteen, it might be their fifteenth level ability where they just get, they get, they can have an undead lackey. Yeah, I just like the well. well I mean, and their divine they can stuff have their Renfell. is control, uh, control undead rather yeah. than yeah turning. Yeah. It's basically the anti-paladin. So it's like the necromancer edition. paladin kind of feel. Well, but yeah, it's the third edition. The anti-paladin had yeah. that kind of stuff. But also too, just I like the the fact of like having hellish rebuke on your spell list like you hit me and i get to like burn you for it <laughs> like, take that. and and you can take the hits because you're, you're gonna have the high ac already and high you're gonna points. have it high AC versus high casters points. that might have hellish rebuke <laughs> and like, then, oh, no. like, oh. i got hurt oh yeah, yeah. and i don't want to do that too much <laughs> so yeah. so with that do we close the book on the paladin we should close the book indeed on, on that oath so with that <clears throat> You guys, like, comment, subscribe, can even share. Continue. And uh, where can they find us? Nerdarchy.com. We are, have a subreddit called Nerdy. How to stay nerdy. How, how to stay nerdy. How to stay nerdy. Yeah, that's that. right. Yeah. <laughs> how to do that stuff. <laughs> yeah. That we do. Yeah, Nate doesn't know what it's called. He just manages it. I just it. manage it. We're on, I see it every day. We're on Facebook, Twitter, uh, yeah, nerdarchy.com, all that stuff. You, you guys know where to find us. Um, and with that, until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy. Yeah.